Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to film on this A6 Apunto uh, cookie. So this is a polka cream leather on the front and then in the inside it is the brown. Now, um, I got this from Buy Sell Trade Group and I had thought this was gonna be like a white color and to my surprise, it was more like ivory and cream. Obviously, <laughs> sometimes I don't pay attention to the descriptions and I get so impulsive and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love it and I buy it. And I was going back and forth about whether or not I wanted to um, just kind of go ahead and resell it. In fact, I posted it for a little bit and then I was like, uh, no. So I decided on keeping it. This is housing my A6 Astrology and I'm going to use it as a commonplace book. So it has the contrast stitching. Um, I was only able to find one other video of a woman that filmed on this, but it was in a ring planner about eight years ago. And hers just looks so beautiful. Like the, um, the cream looked really, really kind of patinaed in terms of got like, looked really squishy. And so I'm kind of hoping that this will be that way. I'm not going to lie and tell you that it's like, I'm not worried. I am, I normally just kind of manhandle. I, I know that's kind of not a word, but it is my word. <laughs> or it is a word, but it's not maybe the greatest word. Um, but I kind of just use my covers. I am a darker cover uh, person. I wouldn't have mind if I found like an A6 Sapunto in this brown color all the way around. Um... I had it in a, I think a D-ring slim uh, Campania and oh my gosh, it was so nice. So I went ahead and changed up the decor in here or I added the decor because I, I guess I, um, for people that are on my Instagram, I had used this and I put my Wonderland 222 and my Hobonichi gridded notebook. Um, but I just actually decided to use this for a totally different purpose. So as you can see, I got a pen loop right there with some paper. Um, I've got a nice little sticker that I bought. This was in my print pression setup. I think I had it in like a B6 ring setup, but, um, I really loved this and it says warning. I may start talking about Jesus at any moment. I got this at the little craft place. Someone gave this to me and, um, and I don't remember who, but I put that right there and I just love that peeking out. This is a little dashboard that I made. You can, you know, I kind of put those adhesive pockets. I can pull this out and just, you know, make recreate one if I want. So I do have the A6 Dology kind of in here. Um, I'm putting my little ruler right there to kind of, I don't know, I just kind of like it here because I draw out my spreads most times so uh you can change the decor well i can change the decor whenever i need to uh i had set this up at the beginning of the year as a commonplace book before i got my a6 wonderland 222 um i really wanted to use i really wanted an a6 undyed snapped so that's what i really really wanted and i and i got this um in place of of that so I do have this set up. Um, I used this before as kind of like uh, notes and all that kind of stuff. A daily faith routine, a scripture plan um, that I had. I don't know where I got this from. Maybe Pinterest. I got this from Pinterest. Just kind of like a Bible reading plan and you kind of color it in as you go. Um scripture writing and so I kind of just do the dates I love this kind of layout in commonplace books and just kind of like the week this week and then do daily pages after um but I think I put it up in January and I only had put this down and I didn't use any more pages well tonight I was writing a list and things down right here for um for today, I did some journaling and then I did a little weekly page where I kind of have Monday through Friday right here and a big Saturday and a Sunday 
And then I put this little white paper right there because I was gonna put something that says February. But if you can see, I wrote February 2022 and it's kinda um, peeking through. So I like that. I have a this week focus and then I was writing some stuff for tomorrow. Um, and then I just started journaling. So this was like, what is it, what I was gonna do. And I was watching TV and just, I just started journaling. So um, it's gonna be down two pages and I'll kind of just, whatever notes I have right here, I can, can do. But I love the bigger grid in here and the B6 is bigger too. And I really love the A6 for that reasoning. I turned it upside down because I do not like this writing right here. Um, I like to do my own headers where it doesn't have the writing. So I put it upside down because most times I kind of put washi and stuff or I, or, you know, you know, see. So I'm going to use this and it's going to differ than my A6 Wonderland 222 and it's going to be different in terms of that because this is just going to be a bunch of notes and scratch paper and just things inside. I do have somewhat of a commonplace book on in my uh, um, standard stology. All of a sudden I got really nauseous. Gross. Oh, that's weird. And um, I have that in my A6. I mean my A6. Oh my gosh. My standard stology. My February one in the back. So... I just love blank paper. I don't know. I write at different times of the day. So I'm just going to kind of see. I also wanted to use um, this to log what I'm feeling like in terms of my um, mood when I'm eating different things. And just kind of, I wanted to try and do that as wellness, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to do my every normal my everyday normal thing in here, which is my, um, like commonplace book. I don't know. I, I just really like how this looks and I'm trying to use it for something that I know I would write a lot in. And then one things that I do do write a lot in is my commonplace books. So we shall see. I'll definitely let you know. I, I, <laughs> I've been putting it in this little, chic sparrow pouch and um i have not cut off the little bookmarks when i start to do that i know it's mine like if i cut these bookmarks off then i know like i'm not going to resell this so i bought this for 250 dollars. honestly it was a really big splurge it was very impulsive and um i don't know i just gosh i just really love the way that looks oh my gosh um it's just very gorgeous and the person that I bought it from I was telling her about how I just maybe think I want to resell it she's like just give it a few days like honestly if I was using that size I would have kept it um one one other person said that an un scented wipe will if say I get any kind of stains or whatever if you use an unscented wipe, it'll wipe, wipe clean. So that's kind of like why I want to keep it too. Like I want to see how it does later on with usage. So we shall see my friends. I don't know. I'm, I'm definitely, definitely excited about it. And I really love how this looks. Um, I got this image, image off Pinterest and it says, I put this little thing here. It says that's enough people for today. That's enough yeah, people for today. So I also love this paper. It's the same exact paper that I was using in my Hobonichi Weeks um, cover. So yeah. Hello. She's like, why is this light right here? Um, so yeah, I will definitely let you guys know how this goes. I just wanted to quickly introduce this and let you guys know because I've been talking pretty much a lot about it on my Instagram, but really not on my YouTube. So, um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys.